Hello boxing fans, let's talk about the champion who destroyed the challenger inside the ring. On February 15, 1992, the WBC World Middleweight Champion and hard hitter Julian Jackson with 42 wins, 40 knockouts, and only one loss from U.S. Virgin Islands faced the challenger Ismael Negrin with 16 wins, 10 knockouts, and 8 losses from Puerto Rico. Jackson got the WBC belt after he won against Harold Graham via knockout in round four, last November 24, 1990. The champion Jackson defended successfully the first title defense via knockout in round one, before facing the challenger Negrin that ranked number eight by the WBC for the second title defense. In the first round, the champion landed first with the left hook, followed by the combinations. Hey, he knows what he's up against for sure, and right off the bat, Julian Jackson with the left hook and comes forward. Two hard hammering shots just landed like if there was no... The champion landed a huge left hook to the challenger and dropped him onto the canvas for the first time in the fight. Is what's happening right now. He's getting his... There he goes with a left hook! Seconds into the fight! The play is down! Five. Jackson's in the wrong neutral corner. He's ushered... The challenger is badly hurt. A few seconds until he makes his feet but in unsteady legs. The referee had seen enough and waved the fight off, declaring Jackson a winner via technical knockout in round one. The champion destroyed the challenger in 50 seconds in just only one round via one-punch knockout to retain the WBC World Middleweight belt. 